Okay, real estate made easy. I'm John Moran. I am the CEO of Keller Williams Realties at the Beach Team and Smart Beach Investor. And we're going to talk about real estate here on the Emerald Coast this week, starting July 24th. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, real estate always comes down to four market vitals that we call them that we watch, right? The price of real estate, the price of money to buy real estate, the price uh, it costs to own and operate real estate, and the rental income that you bring in from owning real estate. You put all those together, it's a mix in a soup, and it'll tell you exactly what's going on, and that's what we need to watch as we go through these. So let's go ahead and take a look at real estate prices. So this is interesting, right? The Wall Street Journal, we've all heard of the Wall Street Journal. They are reporting the housing recession. It's already happened. Oh my, oh my, look at this. The housing market is coming back, lowering the odds of an overall economic downturn. Isn't that something? I missed it, apparently. But here's what's happening. That, that's, that's really not happening. If you look at it from a thousand miles up, look down. Here's what's going on. Builders are doing well. OK, builders are coming out, building new products. They're selling left and right. Matter of fact, the number of new homes that are being sold, is the highest level in forever. But the existing home sales are almost non-existent, right? Because people are all going to buy or, or to new builds. Let's take a look at this. OK, so what's going on? And this is kind of neat that these the builders are crushing. They're doing great. Right. And it's pushing up the, uh, the stats for the home sales. But here's really what's going on. Homeowners, they don't want to sell, so they're buying the new houses, right? They got these low mortgage rates, so they're not selling. I don't blame them, right? Um, and they're going out and buying these new homes. New buyers aren't, don't have any inventory to buy, so they're going to buy new homes. So the number of new homes is through the roof, but the overall number of homes ain't so much. Look at this. Only 1.08 million homes were sold um, or under contract at the end of May, the lowest level for the month, according to the National Association of Realtors, going back to 1999. There's not much inventory because nobody's selling right now. So the builders are winning. Overall, not so much for housing. What does that matter? What does that mean to us locally? Not so much. Here's what we need to look at locally. Let's take a look at this. So this is what we're looking at locally, right? Believe your eyes. Take a look at this. So here, here's just our website, right? We're going to go to Property Search, Florida, Destin. And we're going to look just at homes. All right, let's search them up. We'll use it on the map just because it makes it easier. Okay, let's take a look. You see, these are all the houses. You get 20 per page. Let's see. I'm looking for red. One, two, three three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, um, we had eight of the first 20 have price reductions. That's what the red is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven on that page. So we have 15 of the first 40 random homes pulled up have price reductions. That is not a recession being over, folks. Homes in Destin, Florida are going down in price. All right, so here's condos in Destin, Miramar Beach. What we're looking at is the prices. The red indicates price drops. Let's see how many price drops. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so on first page, we had 10 out of 20. 50% of these properties are price dropped. Let's go to page two just to see if it holds up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So out of 40, we had 18 random properties are showing price drops. People, that is not a recession. That is prices are coming down for condos in Destin. That's the way it is. Okay, now we got 30A, right? We're looking at houses, and what we're looking for here is red numbers. That means price reductions. 
We want to see what's going on just randomly with, with houses. Let's take a look. How many are going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven of 20 have price drops. Was that 30% or so? How about on page three? What's that look like? Okay, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one had a million dollar price drop. So eight and seven, 15 out of 40 houses on 30A are showing a reduction in price. That is not a recession over, folks. That is prices are dropping. It's just the way it is. Let's take a look at condos on 30A, right? Um, again, we're looking for red numbers. That indicates a price drop. Let's see what's going on. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of 20. Again, what's that, 30%? I'm not real good with math, but something like that. Seven out of 20. Let's look at page two. Okay, here's one, two, right off the bat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 17 out of 20 condos on 38 are showing a price drop. That's, that's almost half of the uh, condos on 30 are, are lowering their price. That is not recession over. That is not multiple offers. That's nothing other than prices are softening, folks. It has to. This shows it. Okay, Panama City Beach houses. Let's take a look what's going on with the prices here. Again, we're looking for red. That tells us that prices are dropping. Let's see how many. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of twenty. Half of the houses in this particular page are lowering the price. Go to go to another page, Katie. Let's look at what this one's doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so 22 out of 40 houses in the Panama City Beach area are in a state of lowering their price, price reductions. That is a softening market. That does not tell us that the market is turned and the recession's over. What that's told us is folks are dropping their price and they're still not selling. Crazy. That's what's going on. Panama City Beach condos. Let's see what's going on with the folks here. Are they lowering the price, increasing the price? maintaining we're looking for red numbers here because that'll tell us they're lowering the price one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve out of twenty folks on this page are lowering the price let's just try another page okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 12, 24 out of 40, more than half of the sellers of Panama City Beach condos are lowering their price. That is not recession over. That, that's recession getting going, all right? Um, only takeaway can be prices are softening. It's the only thing that makes sense. What's the takeaway? What's the takeaway with regard to real estate prices? Well. Prices here at the beach are going to continue to drop until prices come down or rental goes up. Prices come down, rentals go up, right? Or mortgage rates drop or some unknown force kicks in. And who knows what that is? Ultimately, though, I would look for prices to drop as we just saw. Summer rental market cools, according to the uh, Wall Street Journal, right? Our next market vital is rental prices. Okay. It's happening here. It's happening across the country. Rental prices are coming down. Now, here's something you want to do. Here's something you want to do. Update your property. If your property's not updated, make sure it's in great shape. That'll, that'll help you. That'll mitigate some of the problems. Do an audit of your management company. If they're not great, sayonara. Make sure you get a good rental company, right? Those are two things you can do to help yourself in these times. Um, the key is to act now. Don't wait. Don't wonder what's going on. You got to act now. And if your property is an underperforming asset, you don't want to invest the money to bring it in to, to capture what rental dollars are out there. 
get, get it on the market, right? Get on the market. Email us at info at smartbeachinvestor.com. We'll help you out with the pricing and whatnot. And you can figure out what to do, but don't carry an underperforming asset if you're not going to be in a thing, okay? Well, that's what's going on with rentals. Let's take a look at the rest of the vitals. The next market vital we look at are mortgage rates, right? Because that, that pushes everything. Okay, the Fed's getting together on the 26th. That's tomorrow from where we're at right now. But um, they're going to get together. Every expectation is the Fed's going to increase the federal funds rate, which will likely increase mortgage rates, right? What do you do? What do you do? Here's the thing. If you're thinking about buying in the next short while, you know you're going to. I would go talk to my mortgage person and lock in a rate. Lock in today's rate. They're going up. The rates are going up. It's going to be more expensive to buy property. So, yeah. That's what's going on with mortgage rates. Cost to own. It's the last vital that we look at, the cost to own. Insurance is still the big killer for us, right? Insurance is just to the moon what's going on. Here's the other thing. Get ready. This is coming next, right? Um, flood insurance. Everybody's got this wind-driven rain stuff going and, and all the storm and wind damage. It's the flooding that, that is the problem now. They, they say that 20% of uh, Floridians are vulnerable to flooding and the, the law is going to pop up and say you got to have flood insurance. So you don't got that, get ready. Costs are going up still. So. Let's summarize the whole thing. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Takeaways. As long as the price of real estate remains high, which it kind of is, even though we have price drops, the cost to finance a, a real estate remains high, which it is and going higher. The cost to own and operate remains high, which it is, and probably even going higher. And rental income is slowing. It's going to be very difficult to hold the price for these properties here at the beach. I, I wish I could tell you the prices are going up and money's going to be super easy to get. And we're all going to be so fired up and happy. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for a little bit, all right? If you're not in for the rough, totally get it. Totally get it. Get out. Get out where you can. Send us an email at John Moran at Smart Beach Investor. We'll help you get out. Or stay in. Plan to stay in, though, for several years. And real estate's always going up and to the right. Over time, prices will go up. But if you're not in it for the long haul, I would get out. Nothing in this forecast right now says good news for the short timers. Okay? There you go. Thanks for uh, checking in. We'll see you next week. Give us a like and subscribe. We're putting out content like this all the time. And, and shoot me an email if you want to talk about your spot. <laughs>